we have gathered enough context to deliver. Am I, am I right? So, it has been a long journey. As a focus, I know you have conquered it. You have conquered everything that this uh, high school life has thrown at you. And I know you have emerged winners, right? So, I want to assure them here that you are very ready for it. Uh, for the focus, I wish you the best. And I know God has always been faithful. He will deliver what He has always promised. Isn't it? Yes. And to the rest of the school, I want to request you, please, remember us in prayers. This is a crucial moment whereby the devil is so alert so that to be prevent us from achieving what we have always targeted. So pray for us, remember us in your prayers. And you know, come to know you. You will always be there. You will always be there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've been encouraged by this song. It's not one that I grew up singing. Um, it was one that we heard on a CD sung by a Welsh male voice choir uh, years ago. Um, but it was brought back to my mind in the recent months as I've looked at um, what's been happening over the past couple of years and the things in our world that uh, views of society and laws that have been passed which I could just describe as good becoming um, evil and evil being seen as good, which is a quite confusing and, and concerning situation and a harsh pushback if you, for anyone who dares to express an opposite opinion. And so the need for courage if you are going to do that. And that, I think that's why this song came back to my mind and that refrain, trust in God, and do the right. I was thinking, well, how do you know what is right? How can you be sure? Well, I don't think there's I don't think there's anybody on earth who knows what is right for every single situation. But God does. And He's given us His word, the scriptures. 
Angie, God encouraged me with a couple of verses recently. One from the book of 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 that says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And it's that last phrase there, instruction in righteousness. Righteousness is right living. So if I want to know how to live right, I must go to the scripture and study it, as Paul says earlier in his letter to Timothy, in chapter 2, verse 15. And the other verse of encouragement was James 1.5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, forgive to all men liberally, and upright us not, and it shall be given him. And that's a wonderful promise. And I pray that these things will encourage you, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what all those voices out there, no matter how loud they are, what matters is what God thinks. So brother, sister, have courage, do not stumble, trust in God and do the right. Myself out of this mental jail that they locked us in Telling us that we can't make it We don't have what it takes to win Even when the road get rough I'll keep on finding the strength within Never fall, never slumber, I'll never give in Cause I believe that better days, better days Better days must be out there for me Better days, better days, yeah Yes, I believe that a better way, better way
you strategize. Manage. You manage. You avail. You manage and then avail. You avail and then you be resilient. Yes, be resilient and finally give it your time. You manage your time with all this for issue. Okay? That is all. And I wish you all the best. Tuko pamoja. The best now we can offer you is my prayers. All true Christians, forward, march! Left, right, 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 left, right. All Christian people from all denominations, rise up as long. Pick up your Bible, give the devil a walk, come fight the king.
There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle and makes his own. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the helpless, confused and torn, and hold out your candle. For all to see it, take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Frustrated. See how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to, still holds a candle without a flame. So carry your candle and run to the dark. The lonely, the tired and worn And hold out your candle for all to see it Take your candle and go light your world Take your candle and go light your world hearts are blazing so let's raise our candles and light up the sky praying to our father in the name of Jesus make us a beacon in darkest times carry your candle run to They will be serving you and your church and the global society, namely the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We clap for them. Thank you. Natural, please, my dear good leaders, as you start your job, as you start reading our team, because I thank the outgoing one. We have not told you the article. One, the new system that we have, none will put a man. It's wrong. So, we have a we they can even be happy that nowadays we are having mass on Saturday. It is the achievement. Sir, sorry, I'm going to tell you. Maclea, John Paul, Jumbe Achiwa, Mutawa, Mass, me at us, they are here. They are here, Johnny, Edwin, Amani, and they are on this. At my father, at my father, Mass, he is your own. Now, I'm going to be a member of the city. I'm going to be a member of the city. I'm going to be a member of the city. You see, you must have some other skills. Skills that not on, it is not me or Mr. Manuel or Mr. John who will teach you those skills. It is upon you, you will do the casino. Then know how to balance leadership and academics. Come on, then also this how what it is to be the key of course. Like in some of the children. So in one way or the other, I will do the balance this way. Because at the end of the day, Children are in a in a poverty. You where are you academically? Come on, come on, come on. So I know this journey. Thank you. 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 So now we are looking for more. Here, children, we are here. Portrait, portrait.
portray the the habits of that of yote yenye mengia kama ni secretary fanya kazi yako kwa bila kurejeshwa bila kushindwa kuambiwa ama bila kushindwa kuambiwa and then mjua kutakuwa na challenge is all through si ati ni venye maisha yetu si ati ni venye hiyo life ya kuko official ni kwa that's good na mimi nimekuwa official for nilikuwa catechist Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. To the world, seek out the world. Hold out your candle. manager give them good time this is will not be a time when you want to present your grievances with fights with one another be at peace with everybody because you have been set apart for God so we will pray that God give you energy that you will not faint we will pray and mental health. We we'll pray that God will refresh your memory and remembrance. We we'll pray that God will guide you in areas that will be tested. I know sometimes we wait for the leakages because of what had happened earlier long in earlier years. But in this meeting we want to say the Holy Spirit is our leakage. Because he, you as Kamam John you as you can sit and the Holy Spirit begins uh, begins to tell you go to that as a question revise that question in paper 2 your mathematics 10 marks go to that uh, uh, full chart and only to find it is what is tested so we pray that God and the Holy Spirit be your sense of direction in this revision in the last minute that God will establish your purpose. We will not pray that you get a name, but we want to pray that as you go to the world, we will not have criminals out of you. Amen. We will have reliable and faithful men. Amen. We shall release governors that will, be, will not be corrupt. We shall release doctors out of you that will not operate people because they want money but they want to solve a problem in our society. We shall pray that you'll be the future of this country. We shall pray that you shall heal your family. You shall be the source of hope in this nation. We pray that many of you will come back here to encourage others. You will not appear in newspaper out of a scandal, but you will appear in newspaper out of innovation, out of uh, great wisdom coming from you. We are saying you like books, you will like songs, you will invent technological machines to solve the problems of people. Out of you, there is hope. Out of you, there is agent of change. And that is why we are here to agree with God. Because that is the reason why God created you. So in this meeting, we are ushering you to your destiny. Oh, 
Father, you knew that they would enter into the gates of Jerry School, Father. Father, you knew even the founder of this school, Father. Father, these four fours have come and they're finishing their four-year run, Father. Father, we need you to make them victorious, Almighty Father. Father, let them not give up when they are on their finishing line, Almighty Father. Father, let them be victorious, Almighty Father. Send them your Holy Spirit, Father, that you may give them your courage like you gave the apostles, Almighty Father. Father, give them your light, Almighty. The light of prophets and prophesied, Father. Father, we need your dominion, Father. Father, let them face the papers with your courage almighty father give them the courage that you gave david father stand with them father that when they shall try to hit the papers father they shall hit them with their slings father and the stones will suck it and to their fears father father be with them almighty Give them your courage, Almighty Father. Some of them have faced a lot of challenges, Father. Father, let the challenges not disturb them, Father. Father, you call them like the way you call Jonah. But do not let them run away like Jonah decided to run, Father. Father, I pray that when they shall Father, and they shall become victorious, Father. Father, let them not forget that you elevated them almighty let them always remember that you are the one who gave them dominion over the papers father father when they go out there father make them responsible citizens father make them people who are going to change this nation father until it shall be its top father Father, be with them, Father. Almighty Father, let them change their families, Father. Bless them to change their areas, Father. Bless them to change our nation and our generation, Almighty. Father, let them after everything, they shall come back and worship you and glorify you and thank you, Father. Father, I also pray for the teachers, Father. As they are giving their last advice, Father. Be with their teachers, Father. Bless them, Father. Because I know it is hard to wake up and come and share knowledge with some people, Father. But, Father, bless the teachers. Bless the administration, Father. That you will continue supporting the phone force, Almighty. Let them say that you were their Alpha when they started, Father. And you shall be their Omega as they shall finish this race, Father. Lead them to their purpose, Father. Father, bless them. Some of them faced problems, Father. Console their heart, Almighty. Be their guide, be their light, Father. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. God, we are before the throne of mercy this afternoon. We, be, we give glory and honor unto your holy name, Almighty God. Almighty Father, in a special way, we are here to dedicate our form for us unto your able hands, Almighty God. 
Dear Father, we pray for your help, Almighty God, as they continue uh, running, O oh dear Lord, and also as they continue revising, O oh dear Lord. More so as they sit for their exam, Almighty oh God, we are praying that God, you said the, your Holy Spirit unto them, O oh, oh mighty God, so that he may guide them, so that he may protect them, and also help them, dear Lord, to remember and comprehend in everything that they do in their exam. We pray this, Lord, graciously heal us. Let's continue with the prayer. We'll start with the prayer of thanksgiving for the journey the form fools have worked from form one up to this time. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 4, better to be a live dog than a dead lion. Father Almighty, we want to thank you for the gift of life. We want to thank you that you have spared the life of these candidates, that we have not lost any throughout the journey. You have carried them through. In whatever status you have managed to bring them this far, and therefore we give you thanks. I want to go for a prayer of confession. The Bible in Psalms 30 verse 5 says, God's anger only lasts for a moment, but the favor of God to man is a lifetime blessing. Let's pray for that. God Almighty, we want to thank you. We sincerely apologize of the many things we have done which have not right. We have failed thee through our thinking. We have failed thee through our actions. We have failed thee through our thoughts. We pray for forgiveness that God, your Veda, will last upon us in our lifetime. I want to pray for the teachers who have sacrificed to serve these students. The Bible in Ecclesiastes verse 9, chapter 9, verse 10 says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For where you are going, there's no need of knowledge. There's no need of wisdom. I want to remember the teachers in this school, O oh Lord, who have handled these candidates from Form 1, O oh Lord. We are praying, O oh God. They have even mentored these students. Some have even walked, they have woken up with them to guide them. Lord Almighty, remember them. Some have gone ahead to use our different ways to make sure that these students understand their content. Lord, remember them. I pray that Lord, even this institution, with the supervisor who is given a hand and the invigilators, oh God, in order to mourn the population of dearly students, I pray that God will find students who are different. I'm praying that Lord, that they'll guide them in the best way possible and they'll be able to achieve. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us continue praying and we want to pray against all the attacks. Ephesians chapter number 10 says that the battle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities of this dark world. And therefore, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray that you may fortify our candidates from any form of attack. We want to pray that they will be fortified from any sickness. We want to bring down any bad day who is asthmatic. We want to declare here that it will not strike this time. We want to declare any bad who have been having constant headaches. They will not get them in this time. Anybody uh, who maybe is being stopped by any force of darkness, we want to bring 
down these forces of the enemy. We want to declare that peace will be their portion. Anything that attacks their mind, anything that attacks their concentration, anything that attacks their remembrance, we want to bring it down. Any demon that maybe has been planned to distort their concentration, we bring it down. Lord, we bring down any force of witchcraft, any body or anyone who has ever planned for their downfall. We want to declare they will not succeed. We want to declare there is no form of attack that shall befall us, that shall befall them in the name of Jesus Christ. They are secure, they are fortified, they are shielded, and now the, uh, the life-giving power of the Holy Spirit will work through them in the whole period of examination and even life after. In Jesus' name, we pray and we believe. Uh, so we continue with the prayer. Father, thank you so much. It's a great honor, Father, to stand here as a parent and pray for these children. Thank you for the greatness of having had some young men, Father, who have reached this far. And now, Father, I thank you because of the greats. I have asked you many times in prayer that you will award these children with the highest of performance, that to be a beacon for the others to chase. And thank you, Father, because you have done these things. And Father, we want to pray for them in continuity with other parents who are at home and are praying at this hour. I join them, Father, and say that, if, Father, you continue blessing these children with the knowledge, skills to learn, and wisdom. Above all, Father, we pray that they love you with all their mind, their souls, and their strength. And Father, let them be built in love. And Father, I pray that they be filled with great peace. And Father, I pray that the abundance of even truth be in them. And I pray that nobody will ever tramp upon their justice and that their integrity be seen by all in accordance with the theme of this school. My prayer, Father, is that they will be loved of you and also they will be loved by people. And Father, I pray this time that your spirit spread far and wind across the school to bless even the teachers who have worked so hard. Bless them even in their families and also the workers who have fed and even prepared the compound. Father, so that these children have been able to perform. And now, O oh God, who is full of power and might, I pray that you encourage them and lift them up. They have a lot of knowledge. And Father, all that they need require is to recall and even to put it into print in the way they have been prepared. That confidence is all that they require. And I pray that, Father, your spirit will move among them to even touch those areas that they are going to perform. Father, and I read of it all, we are going to rejoice in you. And I pray not only for this time they are in this school, they are going to be young men in, in the university, and Father, they are going even to desire to form families. And Father, what I'm praying is that, Father, you will give them, Father, beautiful girls who are beautiful at heart, and beautiful at body, and beautiful in loving their God. Father, this is what I extend, that Father, in this life, Father, they shall also be people who will live families that are prosperous and successful in everything. May you, almighty God, send thy holy angels in this place and walk them through this time of the examination. In prayer, I pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let's continue praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We honor your name because you're our God and we are your children. And for that reason, you've given us the right of access into your presence to make our requests and our prayers known to you. This afternoon, Lord, we dedicate these boys to you. Praying that, Lord, you will cause them to remember everything that they are going to be asked in the exam. We know that the teachers have done a lot of work to teach them. And we know that they know everything that they need to know. They have been taught our Father and we know they have understood. We pray that, Lord, you will cause their memory to be blessed. Because that is your promise in your word that says that the memory of the righteous is blessed of you. May you bless their memory, O God. 
The Bible says when the Holy Spirit comes, he will remind us of things. And we pray for their remembrance in those papers. Everything they will be required to write down, Father. We pray that you will bring it to their remembrance by the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray that you will give them good success in Jesus' name. So that your name and your banner will be lifted up on high. So that, Lord, you will be glorified by the testimony that will come from this school. Father, we pray against the temptation of the evil one to even copy and cheat in the exams. We pray that none of us will be found a victim. That, Lord, you will cause each one of us to be sober and to be vigilant, O oh Lord, so that you will remind them that which they need to remember. Our Father and our God, we pray against the spirit of fear. We pray against the spirit of panic in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because your word says that you've not given us a spirit of fear. We pray that Jehovah, your spirit of truth and of love, will reign and rule in the lives of each one of these boys, O oh God, so that they will be confident, so that they will be sure that they will make it. Build up their confidence right now. In the name of Jesus, the righteous are as bold as a lion. And that is our prayer for them today, that you will cause them to be bold and to be assured the Lord you are present in their time of need. We bless them with a heavenly blessing. We bless them with a priestly blessing in the name of Jesus Christ so that the Lord you will watch over their lives and that you will keep them through to the very end so that Jehovah God you will be glorified, be magnified in them when we, we see the results that Lord you will give us we will come back to honor you in Jesus precious name we pray Amen We continue to pray Almighty and ever-living Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we acknowledge that you are the most gracious God, the Lord who reigns from on high. And Lord, we want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to rededicate our candidates to you so that, Lord, your favor may rest upon each one of them. We acknowledge the journey that they have so far come. We acknowledge your hand in everything. That Lord, it is you who have guided them along the way. And that Lord, you have kept them intact. And today here we are, ready for the forthcoming examinations. To which they, we put them to you. So that Lord, we may continue to help them as they navigate through these final days. Lord, we bless them. We declare your anointing upon each one of them to the glory and honor of your name. We acknowledge, O oh God, that without you we can do nothing, but, but with you everything is possible. And we are sure to say, together with our today's preacher, that they can do everything through Christ who strengthens them. And therefore, Lord, we want to bring them up to you, that you may bless them and inspire them, that, Lord, you may ignite a fire of confidence in each one of them, so that none will panic, none will be taken ill, and that every one of them will be in good health and the right frame of mind as they do their first examination all the way to the finals. As they begin with their all language orals, Lord, we ask, let your favor rest upon our sons. Let your favor rest upon our students and let you be glorified through the efforts that they are going to employ. Lead them, O oh God, like you have encouraged them to the right questions as they revise so that, Lord, they will excel in everything they do. We give glory to your holy name, O oh God, because we know the excruciating work of our teachers. We bless them before you, our Father. We acknowledge, O oh God, that these teachers are the gift that you have given to this school so that, Lord, our boys may be encouraged and that each one of them may excel. We remember them before you, together with their families, and we ask of your blessings upon them. Continue to bless them and bless all that they do. We bring to you, O oh God, 
our continuing classes, the Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3. Lord, we acknowledge that just as you have brought these Form 4s to this very point, you will be with them even as they break for the Christmas holidays. We commit them to you, O oh God. And we pray that even during their holidays, may you safeguard them, may you take care of each one of them, and may you protect and shield each one of them, O oh God, that none of them will be lost to the wayward life of this world. But Lord, you will secure them to the glory and honor of you and praise of your holy name. Lord, here we are. We are sure that we join in using unison of your Holy Spirit that our candidates are blessed of you. We therefore declare and decree that they are winners, that they are champions, that they are victors, and that victory is theirs in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you hear these prayers. We bless their parents at home. We remember the board of management and present them to you, O oh God. We remember the peer executive. We remember the principal. We pray for him to, as he leads and guides the school. That, Lord, your blessed hand will be upon him together with his deputies, the dean, and every teacher who has been given responsibility. Lord, be glorified in all our staff as they give themselves to the service of this school. Lord, be with our support staff. Bless every area, every facet of Jiri School, and let it be, O oh God, that all of us shall gather at the beginning of the year to celebrate what you will have helped us to achieve. We commit these boys to you, O oh God, that even as they prepare for their first to the last examination, all the way to December 23rd, that your favor will rest upon them. We pray for your special inspiration that you be with them. Remember and hear those prayers that our parents will be praying at home, that our teachers will be praying, that our ministers will be praying, and that every person of goodwill will be making on behalf of this student. Grant it, oh God, we beseech you and bless each one of them to the glory and honor and praise of your holy name. This is our prayer of faith, trusting and believing in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that you have just attempted five questions only. Watch out, I'm you Watch out, I'm going to use an alarm. Two cards on the south. Two cards on the south. I think you're going to have one of the other side of the fire. Watch out, I'm going to have one of the other side of the fire. It's a Yes, we have seen the Lord carry us through. Remember that first day that uh, you joined from one. I still remember Sydney trying to to lock uh, the, the box outside there and he was not very strong with his knee. So someone had to press on the box so that we put the, the padlock. 
And whenever I look at that picture, I find a very tiny face. But right now, somebody speaks to me from up there. So most of the times I have to tell Sydney, now get seated so that we can be at the same point, at the same level. So I really thank God. And I'm sure the same picture that I see with the Sydney and the steps that uh, the Lord has taken with him is exactly what even the rest of you have done what have uh, experienced. And so we came. For us, we started in the J. How many were in J? Then I don't know what happened later, uh, the selection of uh, subjects. Then we were taken to M. How many were in M? And then we went on and on and found ourselves in what? In X. According to this beautiful book that I love very much, nothing Nothing that has happened to us was by chance. Are we together? Whatever class you moved from, and you were moved on to that other class, and then you found yourselves in X, it was destined by God from the time he created you in your mother's womb. And did you utakuwa hiyo class? Alijua kwanza utahangaika sana hiyo class. Hadi uhangaike uhangaike hadi akukusani na wengine waliokuwa wanahangaika muwe katika darasa moja. So don't you ever think were it not for history, were it not for biology, were it not for this and that subject, I could not have found myself in next. No. This was your class right before the creation of the earth. Are we together? And so even today, and even tomorrow, and even 20, 50 years to come, you will be where God has destined you to be. Anataka tu ujiachilie. Praise the Lord. So, as we are winding up, me, I just feel excited about this class. Hata nikuwa nasema, ni heri mungewe kwa hivo form 3. Once a quiz to a three X, do right now you'd be doing wonders. Sini ni mume ana vira mume changamka, na vira mume amka, na vira masoli muna yaelewa muna shaka ilikuaje atupua tu na yaelewa. Are we there, or I'm imagining we are there? You have realized that. Kumbe atahi kuwa mabomiji. There is a time when we go to the Ulizana to buy chips and beers. See, there is a time when we go to the Ulizana to buy. Yeah, yeah, you go to Mama and you go to my face. You go. So you've already done English. What else have you done? Chemistry. What else others have done? Computer. Computer. Now my question is, ni ni muriyana kitu extraordinary. Muriyana kitu ili kujja na mrasa. Even the other exams that are coming, things are going to be very, very easy. Are we together? Now, how? How about what you are on? How about? Mutakutana kuleju. Mutakutana huko university. Na huko hakuta kuwa X, Y, and Z. There won't be. Are we together? How do you mutakutana huko kwa maofisi mukifanya kazi? Tujiamini na tusikose kujiamini. After every one paper, we unajiambia na unajitangazia. Hapo mimi nime pasua. Hiyo mimi nime pasua. Are we together? Yes. So, we are still praying for you. But there is, uh, uh, kuna rota ama ratiba tumepanga kwa, kwa, kwa mtanawa. Every single day, you are sitting for an exam. There is a parent who is giving a prayer for you. And all of us are answering it. We are all saying, Amen. Kwa hivyo mkika, musifikiri ati watu wa mesahau. Na keje soke muna na bandieri O kete o hari are negeda Ete kie jesu wa kia nere la ke muane
nasaredi Ichoraria mad na ichoraria mitagiko Nakandieri, nakandieri Kaiwari ganerone kayora bimaga Neke makora gia neke kiega Keki umanyo baya nyu woka na ichoraria nyu Ichoraria mad na ichoraria mitagiko Nakandieri, nakandieri Kaiwari ganeruone kayora bimaga Nikikiega kegima na sarebi Kaiwari ganeruone kayora It is my joy and pleasure to come and join you in this endeavor to give glory to God and also to present you to the Almighty God. 
I'm grateful on behalf of the Board of Management to stand before you and say how grateful we are as a manage, Board of Management for the work that you from force have done and our teachers. For the sake of our visitors, I'm Right Reverend Jeremiah Gumo, the Chairman of the Board, the moderator of the ACCNS, a member of the uh, executive of the NCCK, that is the National Council of Churches of Kenya, today. So therefore, I beseech you by the mercies of God, be like a winner, behave like a winner, walk like a winner, dream like a winner, and everything you do, even when you are eating in this dining hall, dining as a winner. Amen. Yes, you have what it takes. I do remember very well Henry Ford once said, If you think you can, or you can't, you are right. So think that you can, and you will be right. It all depends now from this moment forward. It all depends on the mental game that you engage in. And if you are champion, if you are winner, if you are victor like you have said and confessed and even sang on this podium, I invite you to have, number one, positive expectations. Be positive because winners go to the field to win. And actually most teams, like now today, and the days going forward, in Qatar, teams are going and they go to the field to win. Please, be that winner, think positive. Number two, oh, ah, relax. Dr. Dirango has talked about this. Relax. And many speakers, this is your time to be composed because winners know how to calm their nerves. Please, be that person who is able to calm your nerve even when you are going into an examination room. Number three, be grateful. Maintain an attitude of greatness, or of gratitude, because champions are grateful. And when you maintain that, you'll be like one, Alexander the Great. You know what he said? Once, and I quote, I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. I wonder how many times you have heard, Madam Jogona, Madam Jogona, Madam Jogona. Why? It's and that spirit of gratitude. It is my prayer that God will help you to be that grateful. He said, and in fact, Alexander the Great was talking like that. He was saying and commenting this because of his teacher, Aristotle. He was grateful to Aristotle. And that is why he said, I am indebted to my father for living. Because my father sired me. He brought me into this world. But I owe it. I am indebted to my teachers for living well. I pray that soon and very soon, one of these five days, you'll be back here praising your teachers. Give them a clap. <laughs> Number four, champions celebrate small wins. Thank you, Chairman Nova, who is also the deputy chair of the board. He is my deputy, Mr. Moniki, for what the Nova has done and continues to do. Because those small wins, the medallions, the certificates, are the character of winners and champions. Because champions celebrate small wins. If you win in a cut, if you win in a survey dose, if you win in a speed test, in a, a midterm exam, a mock exam, celebrate those wins. Because you are on the verge of being that champion. Everything to you should matter. Number five, 
If you are a winner, you must visualize and get the right gear. Visualize winning. Are you winning? Because champions, we always have positive ex uh, expectations and therefore they are minded to be tuned to winning. And therefore I want to encourage you that during this examination time, this is the time to assemble. Say after me, assemble all your senses. If it comes to hearing, only hear what is helping you to become the champion. If it is testing, even when you come to this dining hall, please, once you take that spoon, eat like you have tasted winning. Amen? Yeah. When it comes to smelling, wherever you go, the aura, the street, the part of Jiri School, walk, smelling the flora and the aura. Fauna, like a winner, smelling. What is it that you smell? What is it that you hear? When you touch, touch it like a winner. Even when you carry this certificate, hold it like you are because you have touched it and you have felt that you are winning. You touch it. When you get that mouse of a computer, when you get your pants and banner, when you get your pen, when you hold your textbook, when you are discussing, please feel everything like a winner and God will bless you. Amen. It is now my esteemed and very humble duty to present this very beautiful success card from the board of management to our 2022 candidates. Hi. School captain, please come over. Ah, he is coming like a winner. Thank you, thank you. He has come like a winner. And the board says this to you. May God grant you a success in your exams. Students, all along, you've given GD family reasons to believe in your greatness. We are eager to celebrate you. The going may have been tough and will be tough for the next few days. But you will rough it out with your incredible ways. No matter how hard all the questions may seem or appear, we are sure you will ask, you ask them like a superstar or like superstars you are about to emerge as the triumphant winners take your exams hand on without any fear and we want to wish you all the best you are made very special may the blessings and favor of God be with you and be upon you Amen Hey, cameraman. Oh, no, dear. Imenda. Imekalas. Ah, you know, you are squeezing the digital. Ah, some you Ah, some mine are you Ah, Dr. Dirango, you go. Asante. God bless you. Thank you so much. Asante, Asante. My dear audience, I want to take this very humble opportunity with utmost respect to invite my brother, our minister for today. He is none other than Pastor Gigi. I want to invite him to come and tell him how we celebrate his coming to be with us 
to tell us the good stories of how the Lord has taken him and because he has already told about how Jiri shaped him. Amen. Our gracious and loving Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we humbly come before you as we commit your servant and our servant today into your very able hands. We know that, Lord, you have called him with a purpose to be with us and among us to encourage our candidates and our continuing students. Lord, we pray that you use him as a noble vessel in your kingdom. And as he takes the altar, Lord, we ask that you minister to us through him. May he be full of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. May he be inspired of you to bring out your oracles to all of us, O oh God. And when this is done, Lord, bless us all together with him. Be glorified in his ministry. Be glorified for the time that he is with us. For this is our humble prayer of faith, trusting and believing that your anointing is on him, that your anointing will be on him, and that the power of your Holy Spirit will minister to us through him. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He comes to us from the palace of worship. So, Karibu Sana, have the podium, have the altar. We are expectant from you. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Let's appreciate the moderator. Uh, the principal and uh, the moderator who is the chairperson of the board of management, the uh, chairman of the uh, PTA and of the Jiri Old Boys Association, my fellow Old Boys, uh, teachers and students, one is Wasifiwe. Yeah, one of the hardest things is to preach when your seniors are seated. Uh, you can be sure it's not easy for me to preach when uh, the moderator and Mrs. Joguna are seated in the service. Uh, everybody else, I would be easy with you. But when you have your seniors, you, you tend to be a little careful with what you say. Uh, but I'm excited. I must say that I'm honored today to bring the word of God to you and to this school. And thank you, Chaplain, for giving me an invitation together with the rest of the Ajiri uh, Missionary team members that we came with. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we have a group of uh, missionaries who go preaching everywhere, who are old boys of this school. And largely, that's where we come from, under the leadership of uh, Brother Nyoto, who is our chairperson. And uh, we are so excited to be here today. Uh, I must say that I know time is much gone, and I know you're tired. I know you are already hungry, if you get hungry the way I used to get hungry. Uh, and so I'll ask you to just be a little patient, just a few minutes. I promise I won't keep you here for long. That's my word. And I'm a gentleman, right? So I keep my word. Uh, I bring you greetings from my church, Palace of Worship. Uh, like uh, Reverend said, we in Gedurai 45. I also bring you greetings from my wife Ruth uh, and our two children. Uh, uh, one of them is in school, so uh, he's in Form 1. Our firstborn is in Form 1. Uh, we have a daughter and a son who are in primary school, and they sent their greetings. Praise the name of Jesus. I need to say I'm a teacher by profession. I am a teacher of chemistry and maths. I've taught chemistry for quite the longest part of my life because after Chiri School, I joined KU. I did a BA in science in maths and chemistry. And then after that, I did a postgraduate diploma from the University of Cambridge, 
uh, a diploma for teachers and trainers and therefore I am qualified to teach teachers as well. I taught for 15 years. Uh, all my years I've taught in private schools. I think I was uh, so much after money uh, until my dream of ever coming back to Jiri School to be a teacher was overtaken by events. So I had to retire from teaching early when the church work became a little more for me and therefore I had to make choices. But all the same, I'm, I'm so grateful by uh, the grace of God for the contribution that I've made. I've, I'm an author. I've authored one of the books that I know you use, The Password Chemistry by the Moran Publishers. is my work. Uh, and I'm so grateful every time I go to schools, yes, all those calculations on moles, enthalpy changes, uh, radioactivity, electrochemistry, uh, solubility and uh, salts and all that. that. That is my passion. I talk chemistry. I'm sure I'm going to be talking chemistry here before I finish. I, I think I, I just enjoy chemistry. It's, it's a way of life. And uh, so I'm happy to have done that. Uh, recently and uh, this coming Friday, I'll be launching my first Christian book uh, at All Saints, uh, the book we are calling Manifest Growth. I'm sure the next day I might come. I hope the library for the Christian Union is still alive. It is. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there will be a copy or two in the library so that uh, the students can also read part of what uh, we are doing for the kingdom of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, uh, nowadays, I'm so much into mentorship programs. I, I do mentorship programs for Wema TV and for Elevate TV and into schools and colleges and all that. So uh, that is partly why I had to leave teaching so that I am able to concentrate on that. Having said that, allow me to get into the scriptures that we read this morning. And uh, from the scriptures, I will just pick a few points and then we will get to a time of prayer. Are we together? So please stand up and stretch so that you're able to give me about 10 minutes and then I will be off this place. Come on, stretch the hardest that you can. The hardest, the hardest, harder than that, harder than that. Yes, as hard as you can do. Raise your hands, try to reach the roof, the highest you can go on your toes. Please try it. It will help you in your blood circulation, I guarantee you. All right? On your toes, do like this, your fingers. Try and move your fingers as much as you can. All right, good. Let's be seated. Now, from the scriptures, I want to bring you six points. And the moderator has already alluded to the issues that I needed to address this morning. We read a story about David, who is the best example to talk about when you're talking to teenagers, and especially to boys. Because this boy was about 17 years of age when we see him uh, confronting Goliath the giant. Bible says this guy was tall and huge, six cubits tall. You know, he was an experienced man in battle. He had a history of winning. And therefore, this guy was forever in the battlefield. And unfortunately, we see him intimidating the armies of the king of Israel. We see the Bible telling us that for 40 days, he stood across the valley... And he would defy the armies of Israel by telling them that, Are you not the, the, the armies of Saul? Why don't you give me a man that can fight with me? And if you're able to, he's able to defeat me, then we shall become your subjects. We will become your servants. But if I defeat him, then you shall equally be our servant. And the Bible says that continued for 40 days. And everyone amongst the armies of King Saul was terrified. And they feared none was courageous enough to go and face this man. But one day, tell your neighbor one day. There is a day in the life of a man that is called one day. Tell your neighbor you one day is coming. 
The Bible says one day the father to David sent him to go and look after his brothers. But for him some morsel of bread to go and take it to his elder brothers so that they can continue fighting. And the Bible says when he got to the battlefield, he was shocked to see this giant that stands across the, the ridge defying the armies of God and no one was fighting him. I know you know the story so I want to cut it very short so that I get to the point and then we finish. And the Bible says when he asked, he was told that this man has been doing this for 40 days and 40 nights. I want you to imagine an enemy that wakes up in the morning before you even do your breakfast. The guy is there saying, give me a man. After lunch, the guy stands up again and says, give me a man. Before dinner, he stands up at that time and says, give me a man. And this little boy comes and he looks at him and he says, what is he doing? Why don't I go and fight him? Why don't you give me an opportunity to go and kill this giant? 17 year old boy a teenager like you stands out and says i want to go and fight this boy thank god for room among us tell your neighbor thank god for room among us you know the room among us went to the king and reported there is a boy here who claims that he can fight this giant and so david was brought to the king my point number one this afternoon is that God honors faith. Say with me, God honors faith. I've got to keep telling you to say because I know the tendency to sleep and doze off is very high right now. And I need your attention for the next couple of minutes, all right? God honors faith. Look at this. Everybody else was cowed down. But David had faith in God. That the God of his fathers was well able to help him fight this Goliath. And so David looks, stands up and looks and says, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Who dare defies the armies of the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of Israel? He asks, Who is he? He was talking to boys from my village. By the way, I'm a village preacher. So if you see me with some village behavior, just know where I come from. I come from a place not very far from here. When those days I was in school, Mr. Ndongo would always stand up. That popular man called Jen, the principal of our time. On the closing assembly, he would always say that you got to be in school by five o'clock. Even if you come from Ishishe, where there are no vehicles. That was the remark from the principal. And true to the word, there were no vehicles in my village. I always walked to school from my village. Those of you that would understand where Ishishe is from here, across Kenyona, Mununga, past the other side, I would always walk. So I'm a village boy. So allow me to be myself, all right? If I'm talking to boys from my village, I would tell them, David says, who is this to be that is looking and defying the armies of God? David looks at him and says, I am going to fight him because I know the God of my fathers will help me through. I came to tell you candidates, there is a God, the God of your fathers, who is well able to help you go through that exam and come out victorious. Somebody say amen. David was not cowed down like everybody else. He had trust in God. He believed in God that God would actually help him. Number two, everyone has some God-given ability in them. Tell your neighbor, you've got some God-given ability in you. Come on, I didn't hear you. Say it like you mean it. You've got some God-given ability in you. Say that loud and clear. There is always something unique about every one of us that only us can do it and do it best if you tell some of us to play the drum the way that our Corino brothers were playing it here I tell you the truth 
Some of you will sing what is, you know, not musical. But that guy was beating the drums until you imagine that heavens is coming down because there is something that he only can do. Listen to me, guys. There is nobody like a useless person on the planet of the earth. Tell your neighbor you're never useless and you shall never be. There is no one who does not have the God-given ability to do certain things in our lives. David knew I am the best one in using the sling and so I can use it anytime I want to use it. David understood that in him there was an ability to do that which many people would not do. His brothers were good at holding the spear. He knew I'm not very good at the spear, but I'm good at the sling. And therefore capitalized on that. I'm here to tell you guys, do your best. From first, did you hear me? We're not asking for anything more than your best. We're simply saying, give us that which you know. You will proudly stand and say, I am good at this. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I knew I was good in maths. Thanks be to God. Although at one point I was so messed up. I'm sure Mr. Chogona might remember. By the way, I'm the only student, I think, in the whole planet Earth who has gotten all grades in mathematics. All of them. All of them. I've got, I thank God the principal told us that our files are there. I need to come and, and take screenshots of my report forms. You know, from one term one, I had 18% in maths. 18. That thing, Walimu, 13. That thing of routing off to the nearest to the small places, truncating to three significant figures. I don't know what. And by the way, that's why I chose to be a teacher of maths. Because I literally failed in mathematics. I had 18% in term one. Term two, I had 23%. Term three, I had 29 from two term one, I had 32. Term two, term two or form two, I went down to 27. I need to recall the others. I will please allow me to come for, for my report forms. You know, but let me tell you, one Miss Wahome, every time she gave me my paper, she would always tell me, Ketogo, this is not your best. You can do this. Praise the name of Jesus. She would always tell me, Gitogo, you can do better than every paper she gave me. Until one day I got myself into a committee and I asked myself, what is this that my teacher of math sees that I cannot see? And I remember sitting down in class and saying that I want to change my whole way of looking at it and begin to pass. And I took a black card, I mean like a small card and I wrote on it, rule number one, 10 sums every day. And I stuck it on top of my desk. And I guarantee you, if I was going to sleep in Keharo 1 after the preps, and halfway I remember I've not done 10 sums, I had no choice other than go back to class and do 10 sums, however simple they were. But the rule had to apply. And I can tell you from three and from four, I did 10 sums literally every day in this school. By the time I was getting to where these guys are, I was so sure that I was going to get an A in math. And I remember when the results came out and I came to pick my results, I got into the office and Mr. Njoguna gave me the results. For my case, I was not so much interested in what overall grade I got. I wanted to see whether I got an A in maths. And the moment I looked at that paper and I saw that A, I had to scream. I actually screamed in the whole office. I'm sorry I misbehaved in the deputy's office, but I'm sure I was justified. Because my 10 sums did me a lot of good. What am I saying? I knew there are certain topics that I would get those full marks in that question. There are those areas that I knew I was, I was not very good. But there are those areas that I knew I'm good at it. I'm here to tell you guys, capitalize on what you are good at. 
If you're good at biology, do it. Do it. Not forgetting your weak areas. But every one of us, there is some God-given ability in our lives. Number three. Be authentic. Tell your neighbor, be authentic. Tell them, be real. Tell them, be yourself. You know the biggest challenge we have today is that everybody wants to become someone else. Have you ever looked at yourself in front of the mirror and told yourself, I am the best that God would have created from the mud that he used to create me? You know, the scripture tells us from the dust of the earth we were created. You know? Have you ever looked at yourself and said, I am the best that God would have made out of me? Be yourself. When we appear in that exam room, I'm here to tell you, be yourself. We see King Saul trying to give his armor to David. And telling him, you know, this guy has a javelin and a spear and a sword. So you can't just go bare, you know. He tells him, why don't you take my armor? David tries it. And then he feels this thing is even more heavy. It's heavier than my weight, man. How do I move? How do I move? And you know, the armor was made of bronze. From force into metals. Bronze is copper and what? Are we together? Sorry. I'm not used to this. Eh? In our times, there were no projectors. We used to do the service there in the other house. So don't worry. Bronze. And he's given to carry that bronze. And he says, no. I'm not used to this. This is not me. The real me is about a sling and a stone. I am here to tell you guys, be yourself. Don't allow guys to teach you what you were not taught by these teachers. Don't allow guys to tell you the way you can write answers on your laps and then do some exhaust pipe on your trouser by the side. And then when the exam comes, you pretend to be scratching your thigh and check. Tell your neighbor, come on. Be authentic. Be real. You have enough information in your head to write in that exam room. Praise the name of Jesus. You have more than the examiner needs. In fact, I think what the teachers are doing right now is to help you filter what not to tell the examiner. There is no reason why you shouldn't pass. Believe in yourself. Believe that I am myself and I am able. If David would fight Goliath, who are you not to fight this exam? Blessed be the name of Jesus. Allow me to say this. If this man here standing called Pastor Gigi passed the exam in Jiri school, sat on a locker that most probably one of you will be sitting doing the exam. I wish I was able to identify it. And know who is sitting on it. Because you would have to agree. The worst grade you get is the one I got. It has got to be better. Tell your neighbor it has got to be better. Come on from force. Tell your neighbor it has to be better than Pastor Gigi's. If some of us passed. Some of us. And you know. <laughs> biology. Hybridization. You've done hybridization I'm sure. Huh? Eh? Oh, celibacy will change. Oh my goodness. Why did they remove hybridization now? Okay. I am sure you've watched it on a movie. Yes. Hybridization, the principle behind it is when a man and a woman, because by now I know you know you were not bought from the supermarket. Okay? When a man and a woman come together and they have sex, the child born out of that is a better human being than the two of the parents. You know that? Good. That is what is called hybridization. In other words, you're a hybrid of your parents. Now look at me. 
if I am your teacher, together with all these teachers here, we have birthed you into the academic world. Who is supposed to be the worst of all? You or us? You understand my point? In other words, you know much, much more than we do. Your brain is better than ours. You are more endowed with knowledge and ability to grasp issues than we are. You got what it takes to make it. And I challenge you today, believe in yourself and the Lord will help you through. Number four, God will always direct our steps. Tell your neighbor, God will direct your steps. I want you to look at the scenario here. This man called Goliath, he had his whole body covered, totally covered with bronze everywhere. In front of him, there was an armor bearer, a guy that was carrying a, 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 a shield made of bronze. He so we thank God for this particular moment. We thank God that we are winding up together. It has taken the hand of God. It has taken the hand of God for your parents to have school fees. Musione kama ni mambo ya kawaida, sitio? Ebu jaribu kuhesabu ni pesa gapi zimetumika? Wewe unaona kama ni ngapi? Ever since you joined the school. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Ukihesabu tu fees peke yake. Fees peke yake. It's above 200,000. A lot of money. Going to 300,000. Going even to four. But the good thing is, you're going to come out victorious. You're going to come out victorious. And we believe in that. Are we together? Yes. Something else. Whenever you go there, out, there is a Psalms I would want you to make a friend of yours. And it is one I'm going to read for you. Mukimaliza na mkitoka na hata wakati huu mkiendelea. You always go back to Psalms 91. Psalms what? 91. Uifanye iwe rafiki wakaribu. Sasa, I will only read through. There are 16 verses. He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the floor, follower, and from the perilous pestilence, he shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you. Nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Verses 11 says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall hear you, they shall bear you up. Rest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will, these are the words of the Lord. 
Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him <coughs> my salvation. So that, that it be a portion. Continue trusting in God. And he has promised that he shall even guard, he shall even uh, give angels to guard over you, lest you hurt your foot. That whatever you're going to do, even after this, God will always set somebody that is an angel to cover you and to take care of you. But so long as you set your love and your trust in this God, even for the remaining papers, <coughs> that is your trust in God. Are we together? There are so many things you have come across. There are so many things you have experienced. Some are very good, others are very bad. In your, in your four year stay at Jiris, things never worked out so well. Like maybe you'd have wanted them to work out as far as our parenting to you was concerned. But we tried to do our best. One as here. So appreciate us for that. Appreciate for the father that we have brought you. And even for the father that we are going to take you. To Tatana Nanini from year 25. 25, 23, 24, 25. Yes. Once you are through with college, after even those that uh, give us insurance cover, they also include you until you are 25. After that, wanasema, achiria huyo sasa amekua, a young hen, a young hen anagongwa hivo teke. Let us obey our parents, let us make our parents happy. Sometimes your parents will only pick on where you are going wrong. See, to Kovizuri na here, you could pick on where you are going wrong. But always know we really appreciate you. Sawa, sawa. And whenever we correct you, we correct you out of love. There is a card that I, I, I normally use it to mark my, 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 my Bible. And I, I got it several years ago, in 2013. I got it from my daughter, a sister to Sydney. And any time I read it, it, it makes me know, though you do not tell us a lot, there is so much that goes on in your mind about us, isn't it? This is the kind of appreciation I want you to retain for your parents. Even when things will not seem to work out the way you want them to work out. Are we together? This is what she, she wrote in the card. A word of appreciation. Mom, you are a precious gift from God. Your investment in my life is awesome. You have added value and left a positive impact in my life forever. The future looks bright because of your sacrifice to educate me. For education is the pillar of any great nation. May you live long to see your labor in my life. This year she's 25 and her prayer has been answered. I want you to take the same words and fix them for your father, for your mother, or for the guardian that takes care of you. Appreciate them. Are we together? And this I she wrote with her own handwriting and said, God designs what you will go through, but you decide how to go about it. Words can't explain how much I love you. Even actions can't do it. But I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love and adore you. This one, I got it back in the year 2013. And I treasure it up to this day. And I want you to give the same words to your own word. But appreciate them for what they have done. Are we together? Even the way I have come today, it has taken the hand of a parent who is in 4X. They have been doing it, they have been doing it. I keep telling them, please send something that I may go and uh, visit our sons. And they have never ever let me down. So please, when you go home, appreciate them for that. Have it together. 
Most of you mutafikisha miaka 18 mupate kitaburisho, isn't it? Eh, muko nacho. Cha sisi ni tayari kiko huko. Watu wa, wa huduma wamesema ni yeye atajiendea. Tayari kimetokea. Sasa amekuwa mtu mkubwa. This is a secret I want to give you. As I want to have. As I want to. Once you get your ID, once you get your ID, ambia mzazi akupatie hata 500 tu. Sasa, mia ngapi? 500. Enda ufungue account kama huna account yako. Whatever it is money, unapata tu huko ukihaso na ukipewa na, na marafiki Christmas time. Oh, I was not able to send you uh, a card chukua hii ukunywe soda. Hiyo pesa anza kujisevia in an account. I'm giving you some advice that 30 years from now, you are going to find it very, very helpful. Are we together? There is this young boy who was in Nyeri High School. Sasa alipo perekwa Nyeri High School, haku anajua umuhimu wa pocket money. Haku anajua umuhimu wa pocket money from Form 1. So, any time he was given money, he never got excited about the bread and everything else that comes with, the, with money and the eating. So this boy had an envelope. Kira wakati akibakisha pesa, alikuwa anaweka hapo ndani, anaweka hapo ndani. Until the time he left Form 4. Alipo maliza Form 4, and then the father came to pick him up. Akapatia baba yake bahasha. Baba akaangalia bahasha. Akamuuliza kwa ni nimekuwa nikilea mwizi. Hapa nyeri hai. Ambia baba kwa nini umeuliza hivo. Where did you get this money from? And then he said, I got this money from you, from my brothers, from my aunties, from whoever. Any amount of money I would save at the end of the term. Nilikuwa na iacha hapa. Sanduku. And he had collected, believe you me, 46,000 shillings. Akapea, baba akamwambia, he baba, nataka uende uninunulie laptop, junajua ni naenda campus. Baba akamwambia, hii hata sinunui laptop, laptop ni mimi nanunua na pesa yangu, this is the first account that you are going to open for yourself. Waka ipereka equity. The rest is history, and he's a very strong young man today. Kwa hivi hata kama ni shiringi tano, usione ni tano tu ati lollipop, ione kuiweka mahali. Are we together? Na sasa nime maliza. So, we agreed with Mwalimu that this particular day, it is for each one of us. 43? Yes. 43 or 42? 43. You are 43, yeah? Yeah, 43. Okay. There was something that I miscalculated, but it is okay that I can answer that. The
Hallelujah! Hey, now get a 
Kevin Mwangi, the form two. Na new Rea Gokuera, Gokuera at the more than it near Agueta, where Tin you were, where Muene. The Magalera or more than it are Queera, Tigana and Maudoma, the Tigana, the Ton, or Kura, the Con, and Mueva Tenera Ten, more than your watch.
kinyo hau wada ni amora adime no de moririkania me nyelele toga korwa Hallelujah! Watu wa kadhare bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Stephen Gadhi. I am in form for and God is my savior. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na nimesimama hapa kutoa ushuhuda kwamba Yesu anaokoa vijana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka upatie mwanzako high five mwambie bwana Yesu anaokoa vijana. Leto ya te ne wengai na gotora ode ngai kaina na gyo ba odo yo kakore enio te kanare ya dumaine yo kakode leto e leto ya te si tu apigia makofi mazuri but you do the opposite fanya mjaribu fanya mjaribu you say what i say but you do the opposite are you ready yes. jump in jump out say what i say this is the way you say what i say but you do the opposite 
Jump to the right. Jump to the right. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump When I blow the whistle, you do your loudest cheer. When I blow the next whistle, you stop. And then we shall see, using my soundometer, which team has won. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Video. 
it was what? enjoyable too. Uh -huh. What have you learned from the hike? Never from the hiking, up. yes? Never give up. You never give up? Yes. Okay, so, so I wish you well. In the... was also carrying a sword and a spear. And you know what? The only places that were not covered on him, it was the face. It was the face. Let me ask you, how come that the stone that David took did not go anywhere else? Allow me to corrupt English for once, and I'm sorry if the English, the teacher of English, the stone looked for the place. I know it has no ability to look, but he looked for the place that was not covered in the whole body. How is that possible? How? There must have been some divine power that directed the stone to David, I mean to Goliath's face. And that is the power of God. God ordered the stone to only touch the forehead, the only place that was not covered. I'm here to let you know, guys, God will direct your steps. I know you have a few days to revise. But can I tell you, God will direct your revision. And there should be a prayer beginning now. I have not to waste I have no time to waste reading irrelevant things. Direct my revision. One of the girls I taught is an Egyptian girl. That Egyptian girl had a lot of problems. She was doing the, the whatever you call the IGCSE curriculum. 
the school that I was teaching has both 844 and IGCSE. And so I happened to teach both. This girl was, was doing IGCSE chemistry. And the mother one day calls me. And she tells me, teacher Kitika, you know, that's what they, they used to call me. Teacher Kitika, are you, help to, are you able to help my daughter? She was called Nadine. Are you able to help Nadine? And then I remembered that verse that I was taught by my Sunday school teacher. That I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I said, yes, I'm able to help your daughter. And of course, that meant that I'm getting some extra money from tuition. You know? Kikuyu in me, eh? So I had to go do a bit of tuition. So I began going to their house. This family is one of the richest families I've seen. The first place I saw gold displayed in a house. It was in that house. And those of you that know Muslims are very good at that. You know, gold is so precious. As much as they don't wear it in their bodies, they, they, wanapamba nyubazao. In this house, you know, the house was so big that somewhere in between the stairs, between downstairs and upstairs, there was a seat somewhere on the stairs where, you know, I imagined with my village mentality that if you're going upstairs and you get tired along the way, you take a rest, you know, and then you can continue climbing up the stairs. That is the kind of a family that I'm talking about, living in some pushy place in Westlands. So, I, I go to this home. And in a record one year, I'm supposed to sit with this girl, transform her from a you, because she was calling a you. Now, 844 does not have you. The worst grade is E. In, in the curriculum, there is a you. The worst grade is not F, it is you. You have A star, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then you. F means you have failed. We call it a fail. You, it means ungraded. It means you're so weak, the computer cannot recognize you. So you cannot be graded. Nadine was scoring a you, I can tell you. 20% and below. And I remember when she was just about to do her KC, I mean, her grade 11 exam, the final, I just felt in my heart, let me go and encourage this girl. And of course, every day I went to their home, I went praying, you know, telling God, God, for the sake of my testimony, please let this girl improve. Let this girl pass. You know, those are the kind of prayers that teachers pray for you. You don't know, but we wake up at three o'clock to pray for you before we come to school. Let these boys understand the physics that I'm putting in their head. Let them understand the history. You know, so I kept on praying. So this day, I, I, I feel like, let me just go and encourage her. So I went, and then from past papers, I selected 10 questions. And I said, I'll go and do these 10 questions with this girl. And then after that, I go home. Their paper three, which is identical to our paper two, usually has six questions, and they are all compulsory, just like 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 the chemistry one that we do so out of the 10 questions that i went through with her the next morning she goes to the exam room and she does her exam you know and then after that do you know the girl calls me and tells me you know teacher Kitika, everything you taught me yesterday came and i'm like what came six out of six questions let me tell you when the results came out, when the results came out, unfortunately they came out when they, this family had traveled to Mecca for, for Hajj. Do you know they couldn't wait? They call me from Mecca and tell me, Oh, teacher Gidiga, may Allah bless you. You know? And then I'm like, what? Ati, you know now she has stopped being the mother's and the father's daughter. They tell me, your daughter has gotten an A. Imagine from a U to an A. I'm here to tell you that the God we serve, I say the God we serve is able to direct you where to revise. Simungwa naona yo karatasi mahali mefichu wa na CS. 
true or not si anaiona mahali kwa kwa ofisi ya neck macho ya mungu inaona kila mahali the best leakage that you can get is to tell god god directly to the areas where the exam has been set forget about all these other things that people tell you i wish i had time i would a little bit talk about more that, of that number what number five before we finish the supernatural power of god always amplifies our ability the supernatural power of god always amplifies our ability now i want you to critically look at this david throws a stone and i can guarantee you that stone was no bigger than this moderator right it must never have been bigger than this but i want you to look at this stone that number one, the bible says when it was thrown by a boy not even a man by a boy it sank into his forehead meaning it made a hole not a crack a hole onto the skull so that it sank into the brain how practical is that on earth that can never be there must have been some divine force that was added to the force or to the energy at which David threw the stone for it to be able to sink into the skull. It sank into the skull and the guy dropped dead. Number two, what does the Bible say? Did the giant fall backwards? Read your Bible clearly. The Bible says he fell on his forehead. What does that tell you? Now, if I throw a stone to you and hit you from the front, is it possible for you to fall forward? Eh? If I give you a push here, automatically fall to the to the back. But Goliath fell to the front. What does that tell you? By the time the stone was touching him, the power of God from heaven that could which could not be seen was literally pushing him from behind and the guy fell off on his forehead i'm here to tell you when you go to that exam room and you write the things that you're supposed to write god will give you more amplification he will cause you to write things that sometimes you may not understand but they are true I, be, I have learned in this life to believe in God foolishly. Just one last testimony and then we close. I will never forget one of the exams that I did in the university. EAP 402. Education, administration, and uh, what do you call it? Education, administration, and planning. A fourth year unit, 02. We are required to answer five questions. Each of the questions is 20 marks. And so I do four questions in this paper. The paper has six questions, so you're supposed to choose five out of the six. Leave one and answer. So I do four, and then I was left with two. Between the two, I understood none of the two what they were asking. Have you ever found yourself in such situations? Aha, so we are many of us, eh? Okay. So I found myself in a situation where I can't answer a question that I don't understand. So I don't know what they are asking me, so I don't even answer. And then, because for me, I have learned to trust in God. And I always believe that God is like literally walking together with me everywhere I go. Sometimes I behave like a madman. You will see me talking to myself on the streets that time i'm talking to god after him you know god thank you for being my friend thank you for walking with me and i don't care whether people think i'm mad after all where would they take me? you know praise the name of jesus this is what happens i whisper to god and i tell him god don't you want don't you see in your word that 
the Holy Spirit will remind us all things. Please remind me what I'm supposed to answer in this question. Every praise, every praise is to our God.
kesho atakuja hapa kesho lakini saa hii pia tumeandamana na yeye na ni kijana yetu hapa Muranga pia na pia ni principal secretary ya maji anaitwa <laughs> Joseph Kirongo Wairago kana Wairago wa mae <laughs>
So I look forward to engaging with you as you had, I will come back. So that we have more time to have a day with computers and technology and we see what we can do together. So thank you very much. Let me now invite Sias Macharia to also come and greet you. A big clap for Sias Macharia. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. Good afternoon. You are very, 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 very privileged to be in this school. I come from Ranga, and when I was growing up, my wish was to come to Jesus High School. This is our one school in this county. What you may not know is that this school has got a history. Not history in the school itself, but the history of our country. Our country in the sense that you know this land was donated by the G family. And those of you who have read history, you know that Kayuki G, former member of parliament, is the one who gave room to Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. And so you people, good people, you are part of history, being part of Jiri's High School. Aren't you happy? Yes. Let me also say that I was very, very touched when the chairman of the board was briefing us just now. And he told us, that young man over there, and he did come forward. And I need to adjourn Mudua. Jimia Mudua. Jimia Mudua, come over here. Please tell him.
I thank God that I've had an opportunity to come to this school because I've had a lot of good things and wonderful things about this school. When I was Minister for Education, I was working so hard. One time I came to open exams in Muranga at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yes. I never managed to get to this school, but God planned that today I will come here physically. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I have come, I want to make just three points. One, uh, principal, I thank the Lord for you. There are people in this country who know nothing about the job that our principals and our teachers do. All of us as parents, because now I'm speaking to you as a parent, all of us as parents, we have brought all our wonderful young people to school like this and left them with you. You and my colleague teachers are the ones who are working hard to support this, our young people. We can only pray for you because there is no one who will pay teachers enough for the work that you do. Because you are assisting us and everybody to raise a generation that will take this country very far. Point number two. One reason why I sincerely thank God to be a Kenyan and to be in this country at this point in time is because we have a leadership, a president, who spent 65% or so of his time on Kenya's young people. Our president is always talking about schools, always about young people, always about skills for young people. When we work in terms of the amount of time ourselves as candidates, we always come to this conclusion, our president spends about 65% of his time on Kenya's young people. And for good reasons. Because you know, if we do not raise you up and we don't support you to grow, we are also useless people because we have no future. Because this is where the next minister for India is going to come from. This is where the next minister for This is where the next member of parliament for Kikumo is going to come from, and so on and so forth. Because your lives are a promise, a promise for our country. And because of that, I want you to know, on my own behalf and on behalf of all of us who are here, and on behalf of the leaders of this country, that sincerely we love you. It's true, as the CS Michel said, I sincerely sometimes miss my days at CS Education. Because I used to spend time in schools, hanging out with you, and you know, enjoying the promise of our country and the future of our people. So we will continue to pray for you. And let me tell you this, we love you more than words can ever explain. You are the most important people in our society. And boys, you have an opportunity of a lifetime to make your future. Listen to your parents, listen to your teachers, and focus on success in the work that you, you do here. And please, for because I came personally, I know there are students who may be here, quite a number of them. When I was in education, I was in education, I when I was in Yeah.